Hi, my name's Martha and I've really debated whether to share this story or not but it keeps haunting me and so I think it's time I share it. My story is about NDIS and the lack of communication and what this does to a person. NDIS makes me feel like They've got me blindfolded, gagged, and bound. At the best of times, I wait patiently. But how long do you wait? And what if there are issues that are holding things up that need to be clarified or rectified? I don't know, because they won't answer my calls. They won't ring me back and say, Martha, we've got this. Everything's okay. It's just going through the process. And you know what? I don't mind waiting. I really don't mind waiting. But I need to know that it's okay. So I do try and communicate to talk to someone to make sure that they're aware that I have an HE requesting or whatever it is. And to know that it's on their radar and that it's in the pile that's actually been actioned forward. The lack of communication leads to a deterioration in my mental health. Two times I have requested assistive technology. It has been a big fight. I've had to do a lot of chasing up. I've had to get the ombudsman involved and the local MP. And this last time, none of that seemed to work. So I actually went into the NDIA office and asked to speak to someone. And I was fortunate that the business service officer at the front desk saw that my request was appropriate and got someone to actually come and talk to me. In the past, they've just told me that no one's been available. So this time, I feel that there has been a bit of progress. NDIS is hard, you know. It causes a lot of frustration and anger when you can't get anyone at NDIA to talk to you and tell you where things are up to. And my main concern or criticism is the lack of communication. If NDIS communicated, the wait wouldn't be so hard. You know, just to be told we're on this, we're moving it forward, it's okay, alleviates a lot of what if, where is this up to, what is happening. The lack of communication causes a lot of uncertainty and makes the NDIS infrastructure feel unsupportive. I have recently gone another round with NDIA and this time even NDIA struggled to unravel my mess. They had to work really hard to understand why my request for communication didn't get to them. And it's still an ongoing issue, you know. Like, we have a 1-800 number to ring and then they pass a message on to our NDIA office. What is going on? Another issue was that they couldn't even find my AT request. They had to do a deep dive to find it. And I know that my OT sent it, and I also sent it through. And when I rang the 1-800 number, they saw it on my file several times. So, where is this missing link? Things are getting sorted but it has come at a cost. I am mentally exhausted and I am feeling depressed 
and I'll tell you why I'm depressed. Firstly, I feel that I alone am in this struggle to get things done. There is no support. There is no one ringing NDIS on my behalf and helping me out in this area. And even though I have a great LAC, she has no power to help me. All she can do is send an email and, and flag that I've made a request. How powerless is that? And then my other issue that I have is for those that can't fight for themselves, for those that are not strong enough to fight, for those that just don't know that say, well, it's in the system, they'll look after it. And I know of people that their AT request has been sitting there for a year and no one's picked it up. And so I think what needs to happen to make the system better? Firstly, to make it work systematically so that things get processed and secondly that the participant is supported, cared for, acknowledged, responded to when they make a request. I'd like to hear your feedback on this. What can we do to make things better?